Hi, um, I'm gonna tell you a different story. I live in Sweden, of course, and you say, Oh, it's so peaceful. Oh, everything is nice there. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yeah, but uh, my friends have just gone crazy and my parents got a divorce and I go in college and that's very stressing for me. Every time I'm stressed, I can't do anything. So why not take a, a relaxing time and go to a football game? Or soccer, you say, in America. So I got to the game and I sat down near the other team's side. Nine minutes, something like that. We scored a goal, of course, and that's made me happy, very happy. Everyone shouting, screaming, booing, yeah, you know. And no, not for me, I like it, because every time we do a goal or something like that, I am happy. Soon it's turned to 1-1, one, one, then 1-2, one, and then I start screaming at the other team. A big man with large beard sitting near me. Are you swearing at him saying your team suck and everything? Then he threw a bottle at me and it really hurts, really, really hurts. I'm just shocking he's gonna attack me. And he did. He punched me in the stomach and oh god. And then the security cards comes and take uh, him away and everything. And oh, I couldn't breathe. I got to the hospital and he punched me so hard that my kidney almost exploded. So I have to do a surgery. So I uh, woke up after the operation and they say I have a very very skinny, tiny body, so I should be more careful when I say some things like that. He says I'm almost getting killed for that, and the doctor, of course. And I apologize for the large, big, hairy man, because uh, we, I have to. So I did, and he accepted, because I know that guy. He is just another town beside our town, so yeah. I know that guy, so I say sorry and everything, he says sorry. Don't be angry like I am, I'm like a big loser. <laughs> so yeah, that's my story, hope you like it. Oh my god, we totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chases all the way to the end.